Hey guys, what is up? My name is Anthony DiBiase and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now for today's video, we're gonna be doing just a quick Lightroom tutorial on how to make your colors pop. Now I do get a lot of requests on how I edit my photos specifically, but instead of making one video of my entire process, I'd rather just do a a bunch of little videos that are just small tips and tricks on things that I use to make my photos a little bit better and hopefully you guys can take these tricks and implement it into your own editing process and develop your own style as well. So without further ado, let's get into Lightroom and get going. Alright guys, so I'm in Lightroom right now. This is a photo I took uh, when I was in Cincinnati. Just a, you know, nightscape photo. Uh, I figured this would be a good photo to use for this tutorial so um, I already cropped it a little bit just to you know line it up properly and everything so uh, the first thing I normally do is adjust my white balance technically I guess this is sort of close to what it looked like that night but I don't really like how the bridge is so yellow and uh, I just personally like my photos a little bit more on the bluer side so I'll drag the white balance a little bit closer to blue I think that's about right right there I also find down here is a little yellow just because you're getting the reflection of the bridge in the water so real quick what I'll do is just grab a, um, a gradient tool drag it up on that side specifically make sure it's just specifically right there I have that preset to exposure but I'll just drag the white balance even more to kind of match the other side Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. Not a huge deal, just, uh, you know, something that I, I notice. That's what's looking before and after already, and that's just adjusting the white balance. Um, especially in nighttime photos, I really think, you know, going with that whole bluer look. I personally just find it cool, but it is what it is. Anyway. Okay, guys, so I just did a few adjustments over in the basic area. Um, I'll probably go over all that in a different video. That's why I'm not showing it right now. Um, but basically this is tone curve right here. I'm just gonna do a little bit of adjustments, just bring it down, probably just a simple S curve to be completely honest. That's before and after. The thing I like about the tone curve is that you can adjust your colors in here and you can kind of adjust it to make it look like a, you know, whatever way you want. If you want it to maybe grade it a little bit more of like a cinematic movie looking uh, color grade or whatever, you can kind of develop your own style in here. Um, I think that's about good right there. I just kind of just brought everything down a little bit. Um, essentially, I brought the red and green down a tad, and then I brought the blue down a little bit more, um, just to kind of give that pop. So that's again, before and after, and that's just um, tone curve. So that obviously right there alone did quite a bit. Uh, it kind of brought everything back together. So now, uh, the biggest thing is HSL, hue, saturation, and luminance. Um, this is really where a lot of people get their looks from. Um, they get that whole, you know, if you want that teal and, and, and red look that everyone likes, that's kind of like the M31 LUT for video. Uh, you can do all that adjusting right here. So I'll do a quick little rundown and then wrap up this video. Um, so basically, your hue is just changing the color of what the color is. So let's just say you take the picker and you go over here to the yellow of uh, the bridge, you can change that to a greenish yellow or you can even change that over to like a darker orangey red. I personally like that orangey red. I don't like my yellows to be like super uh, yellow, like the greenish yellow, I, that's just not really pleasant, looks like gross so uh, I bring it over to that warm side it just really gives it that like at just that like warm warmness I guess like a good looking warm not like that green yellow warm um, so I bring that over there um, to be honest a lot of the times each photo is different uh, sometimes you can move around the blue and it'll adjust uh, like more of the greens in the photo so I really just per photo I'll kind of just mess around and see what colors I like for uh, each slider Again, like if you wanted that whole teal look, you'd want to take the blue and kind of bring it over to that aqua. I'm personally not really into that, so I kind of, sometimes I'll even bring it over to the purple side, depending. Um, not for this photo, but depends. So I kind of like it right there. Some of the purples I'll bring to blue, just so I don't have too many colors going on. 
Uh, same thing over here, and then bring that back because it's starting to look like that teal again. Over here, again, it's just saturation. Pretty simple, you're just adjusting the saturation of each individual color. Now, the one thing with this is once you have, like I said earlier, I adjusted the purples to be more blue. So now if I adjust those purples, it'll it'll adjust uh, accordingly. So um, you're not gonna be getting rid of all the blues that you just added in. You're just gonna be getting rid of the purple and magenta or whatever color you're trying to get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of a little bit of the purples in there. Not too much. I'll probably make the blue pop a little bit more again. Right there. And then, sorry if you guys can hear my phone going off. Um, and then probably make the oranges pop a little bit too. So luminance is, I'm not gonna be able to explain, explain this properly, but luminance, luminance basically adjusts like the, um, I guess the exposure of the color. That's not exactly what it does, but uh, again, it's hard to explain. Um, it kind of just makes it a little bit more brighter and it will kind of desaturate a bit, a bit just by default. So normally don't really mess around with that. This luminance actually is huge like with um, skin tones. If you notice your skin tones like really dark, you can adjust that and then normally like the oranges and yellows will kind of desaturate the um, funky colors of the skin and kind of bring out that, that glow, I guess. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I would do with uh, the hue saturation luminance. Um, there's obviously a bunch of other stuff I would do, but like I said, this video is more about making the colors pop. And uh, I think that definitely makes them pop. It kind of brings all the colors together. You can see before it's just kind of like a mess of different colors. It's not one palette. Um, so I think um, doing the hue saturation and luminance is, is very big in developing your own specific uh, color scheme, whether you have a theme on your Instagram page or whether you're a photographer that likes to have uh, specific colors, uh, a warm or cool. I think this thing's, the thing right here is huge. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you aren't subscribed, please do that as well. And please feel free to comment below on any video ideas that you guys would like to see. Definitely more tutorials coming shortly. And uh, yeah, until next video, I will see you guys later.